my butt off while I was here, and uh, you know the New Yorkers love it. They, they like guys that come in and, and just give honest hard work. So uh, we'll see. It's you know it is New York, but uh, <laughs> um, it might be mixed emotions out there. Have you been in touch with uh, some of your teammates since you've been here today? Um, your old, I'm sorry, your old yeah, teammates. Yeah, excuse me. Um, not really today, but you know the last few days, and um, you know I know they're coming to Montreal this weekend too. So um, you know we're you know some. Some of these guys are my, my my friends, my best friends, and will be for the rest of my life. So you know, we, even if we're not playing, we still might be be talk, talking to each other. So, do you keep, they keep tabs on how they're doing down here? Do you, do you look at you know? Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, it's uh, it's only natural. You're always checking to see you know uh, you know how they're doing and stuff like that. But uh, I mean, not that much tabs. But uh, you're always taking a glance. What did uh, what did Montreal's pursuit of you and their their signing of you as a free agent validate about your game and what you did here? Well, you know, it was um, to have some teams come out at you like uh, like Montreal did. It's definitely flattering, and um, you know, I think uh, it was good for me to also set a precedent about uh, you know for players like me and um, you know how important we can be to teams and. Um, yeah, there was something that I, I was happy to do as well, you know. Um, sometimes players like me are maybe overlooked or not looked at as an important piece to a puzzle, but, uh, I, you know, it's something that I wanted to prove and, and uh, I wanted to show. Mark Arla told us yesterday that you were just another player with the uh, Montreal team in Jersey. What do you think about that? I heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> He's just another coach. <laughs> 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 but a month ago, he, he said very good things about you, saying that you brought a lot to this team, to the Rangers. Um, did you have a good relationship with him? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he towards like um, you know guys that, that, that work hard, and um, you know, um, I think we both respected each other, and uh, you know, I really enjoyed my time um, being coached by him. He taught me a lot, and um, he sets the bar high for everybody. And, and you know, I seem to to do well under under coaches that. that that do that and you know put kind of pressure on you and, and expect the best so you know he brought out the best of me and uh, I'm very thankful. Would you like to challenge a few guys on the other team? <laughs> uh, yeah, Henrik Lundqvist. I'd like <laughs> put a couple past them but uh, we all know that's pretty tough. Uh, you know it's just, you know I'm gonna go out here like another game it's another game and uh, do everything I can to, to help my team get two points it's the most important thing coming here. Brandon, during the lockout, you were very active on Twitter, and some of the things were not so complimentary to the NHL office. Any repercussions at all from the NHL on that? Did they they tell you to kind of tone it down at all? Um, no, I th you know I think once everything was settled, I think everybody wanted uh, all that stuff to just kind of maybe go away. So um, yeah, we all say things uh, in tough times and out of frustration, and um, you know uh, everything's that's all done with. So we're putting it in the past. Good guess. Thank you.